If I were to describe this next book as a movie, I'd probably say it's a bit like Almost Famous Meets a Star is Born, which is pretty high praise. The book I'm talking about is called Daisy Jones and the Six. It's about the rise of a rock band in the 1970s who end up breaking up at the peak of their fame. And if you're someone who is swayed by celebrities, Reese Witherspoon has attached her name to this book already. We'll give you more on that in a moment. But first, it is time to meet the author behind all the hype. Taylor Jenkins Reid created Daisy Jones and the Six. Good morning to you. Great to have you here. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, first of all, the way this book is written, there's no straight narrator. It's like an oral history. It's yeah. like the author has sat down and done all of these interviews. But the clips from each person gives me such a clear description in my mind of what they look like and what they sound like. How challenging was it to have, you know, there's six people in the band plus Daisy Jones. So yep. How tricky was it to have these core seven voices always running? It was it was a little bit tricky at first trying to figure out how to use a what's typically like a nonfiction format mm -hmm. to tell a fictional story. But once I figured out that it was I needed to tap into each one of these voices and then give the reader direct access to those people, it, it started to take on a life of its own. I'm curious about your love of not only the 70s, but yeah. also of music, because Aside from writing this great history, which feels very real about this uh, fictional Daisy Jones and the Six, uh, you've also written an album's worth of song lyrics to go with this. I have, yes. Is which, there any chance we're going to hear any of them on the radio? Um, maybe not the radio, um, but but I will say one of the exciting things that you had mentioned, Reese Witherspoon, and she's going to make this into a, a TV show, which is really exciting, um, and they will make the album. So we will get to hear the album once it becomes a TV show right now. Um, they just live in the book and on the page, but soon they will take shape. Do you have any idea who you want to play Daisy Jones? Oh, God. I mean, it's such a tall order that I think when I'm writing something, I can't think about actresses because I have to be, you yeah. know, letting her, um, letting myself just create her. But now I'm like, who's going who's gonna to be? I'm very excited. Let's talk about the creation of Daisy Jones. She's this, she's this beautifully flawed character. You want to dislike her. You absolutely can't. Yeah. Um, I love the lines you use to describe her character. You know, if the world was silver, she was gold. And my favorite line is, she's blues dressed up as rock and roll. I want someone to describe me that way. <laughs> Who was your inspiration when you were thinking of Daisy Jones? Um, you know what? It was a lot of incredible, these incredible, like, rock goddesses that we had in the 70s. Obviously, Stevie Nicks was a huge part of it. But really, Linda Ronstadt was, was a big inspiration. Joni Mitchell, um, Carole King. Debbie Harry, Patti Smith. I was taking all of these women that were so fabulous in the 70s and creating what hopes like a new version um, of all of those people. Why this genre of music and why this era in time? Yeah, so um, I part of it is my love of Fleetwood Mac. I've just always loved them and I've always loved Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham, mm -hmm. so that was exciting for me. But the biggest thing is I like telling stories set in Los Angeles, and mm -hmm. so I like thinking about times in LA that we're, that we're nostalgic for. And I feel a nostalgia for the 70s on the Sunset Strip, and so I wanted to tell a story. In that nice. Space. Where did the idea of the bangles come from? Oh, you know what's funny? My One of my grandma Mothers used to wear all of these bracelets and they would always, um, you know, every time she walked, you could hear her coming. And I just thought it was like the coolest thing. And so it, that found its way into the book somehow. Uh, tell me about connecting with Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, it was very, so so she picked up the book and, and optioned it, which is really exciting. And she's also picked it as a book of the month mm -hmm. for, for this month. Um, and I am just like, I'm, I'm such a huge fan of hers and she's such a champion of books that it's like, that's what you, who doesn't want to hear that Reese Witherspoon likes their book? It was like the coolest thing. When you describe the process of writing, of songwriting for the band in this, they say they can feel when they've got a hit. When yeah. you were writing this book, did you get that feeling? <laughs> no. Really? I never get that feeling. I'm, I, until a book is completely done, I can look at it now and I can say, oh, I did a good job. I can be proud of myself now. I think you did better than a good <laughs> Thank job, <you>. Taylor. <laughs> Thank you. But when I'm writing it, I'm so tortured about it and I can't see clearly. And, I, and so it's not until a book is fully formed that I can say, oh, like, I did a good job or this is, I'm proud of this. And now, now that it's done and it's packaged and it's out of my hands, I'm very <laughs> proud of it. Yeah, you should be proud. And people, you're going to love reading this book. Daisy Jones thank and the you. Sixth Author. Taylor, good to have you here. Oh, thank you for having me. 